The bush is not being destroyed. It's not being consumed. What is Moshe being told here? Moshe is being told, I want you to know that at the core of your people and at the core of every individual, there is a sense of invincibility. There is something that is indestructible. And never ever look at any situation in life and say, that's it, I'm a destroyed person. This has gotten me. I am spent. I am done. I am depleted and lift up your hands in despair and a sense of melancholy and hopelessness. As strong as the fire may be, as strong as the danger may be, as powerful as the adver adversity and difficulty and headaches and sometimes situations that seem non-resolvable, what am I supposed to do with this? And ongoing, I want you to know that v'hasnei nenu ukol. The first thing you have to know as a leader is to be able to believe and to be able to empower yourself and other people to know that nothing, nothing is here to ultimately destroy you. Even though many of these fires may be mysterious and one may not understand the reason and the rationale and the benefit, one may understand, one may not understand, one may understand a little bit, one may understand nothing of it. The most important thing to know is that Ki Adam Eitz Hasada, this people will never ever be destroyed. How it's going to work out, you may know, you may not know. You may wrap your brain around it, you may not wrap your brain about, around it. I once heard from a girl, she's not here anymore, she died from was an illness a few years ago. I once heard from her, she said, at the end it's going to be okay. And if it's not okay, it's because it's not the end. In other words, I may not always be able to wrap my brain around the meaning and how it unfolds. Intellectually, I may be completely in the dark. But life is not lived on an intellectual level alone. The intellect serves its purpose. Life is lived in the experiential experience of the now, of the moment. And a person ought to know, this is what Moshe Rabbeinu was learning. The first experience you have of God is what does it mean that there is a God in the burning bush? What does it mean God exists? It means that you're never ever lost. It means that you're never ever alone. It means that you're never ever abandoned. It means that you're never ever in a situation where you look at your life and you see only bleakness, darkness, pessimism and destruction. There may be pain, the fires may be strong, there may be challenge, the challenge may be profound, but never ever allow that to translate into the next sentence, which is, I surrender to despair. I resign to dissolve into nothingness. I lose the core truth that ultimately there is something indestructible here. And even these challenges, are here for growth, not for destruction.